to unit four, lesson four. So you're looking for tasks for U4, L4. You uh, can find that under assignments or on the weekly calendar on the Science 2 Canvas homepage. Today's date is January 13th. We'll start off with our usual sort of pair and share discussion. Question for today is, if you had 25 hours a day, how would you use your extra time? In other words, if you had one more hour that you could spend on something that you want to spend it on. So think about the things that you wish you had more time for. What's something that you wish you had an extra hour for in a day? Um, that's what I'd like you to share, right? Is, is more just what you feel like you don't have enough time for and you would dedicate that extra hour to. So think about that for 20 seconds. And don't forget to say hi and check in with the person you're in a room with as well. We'll come back together in two minutes. Rooms are open. Next on the docket is homework review. Uh, you just had to make sure that you completed the circulation ed puzzle and the summary drawing from our previous class. Those, those were class works. Uh, and then there was the submit a photo of your notes from Levine. I kind of hope that reading a biology textbook was uh, somewhat helpful. I mean, I know it was a lot of the same information, uh, but the, I'm seeing 12 attempts on the homework reading reflection. Uh, it's looking great. Uh, any questions or comments on that? Cool. And again, remember we are using circulation to step into respiration, right? That's how we're gonna tie it into the atmosphere and how we're breathing, but you've got to understand what's going on with the blood first. So to see how comfortable you're feeling, let's play a little Kahoot about the circulatory system. So go ahead and go to kahoot.it, or uh, if you have the app on your phone, open that up. Game pin is 8950276. Please use your name or something close to it so we know who you are. All right, that is everybody. Here we go. Um, looks like we lost somebody, but again, game pin is always on the screen. Okay, 10 questions. Um, some you'll know, some you'll have to guess at, I'm sure. What is the function of the circulatory system? Excellent, I mean, if you got it. it, is the system of blood vessels circulates blood to the body. It's all about transport. Quinn in the lead. What are the three essential components of the circulatory system? Nice, everybody got it. It is the heart, blood, and the blood vessels. Seems very simple. Okay, Quinn's still in the lead. Is blood a tissue? I might have to guess on this one. Nice, all right, five of you got it. Uh, it is indeed a tissue, technically uh, a collection of cells working together as a tissue and then a collection of tissues working together makes an organ. So blood is technically a uh, accumulation of cells working together. All right. What are blood vessels? Awesome, most of you got it, right? Tubular structure that carries blood through uh, the tissues, includes your arteries, veins, and capillaries. 
Okay, halfway through. What is the heart? Nice, everyone got it. a hollow muscular organ located behind your sternum. Uh, I always like to make a fist that's about the size of your heart, uh, but obviously it's hollow because it's got chambers inside of it. All right, Quinn's still in the lead. How long would your blood vessels be if you laid them out in a straight line? Great, all right, only two people got it, 96,000 kilometers, which I know seems crazy, um, but it really shows you how much actual tubing you have in your body. Uh, you would also be dead if you lined up your blood vessels that way. How much blood does the human body hold? All right, three of you got it. It's uh, 5.5 liters. Uh, I think of it as about six Nalgene's worth. If you know what a Nalgene bottle is, um, they're about a liter. So uh, not as much as you would think. What is the difference between arteries and veins? All right, great, seven of you got it. Um, arteries are carry blood away from the heart, veins carry blood back towards the heart. Why does the human heart have four chambers? All right, three of you got it. The human heart is double circulation. So in other words, blood visits the heart twice in its uh, circuit around your body. So you need two atria and two ventricles. Okay, last question. What is the difference between red and white blood cells? Nice, everybody got it. Red blood cells carry oxygen, nutrients, waste, white blood cells fight off infection. All right, way to go, Quinn, Sean, Alex, Soph, and Jessica. Top five. Nicely done. Looks like most of you are feeling good about the circulatory system. Hi, Claudia. How are things going? Good, sorry, I had technical difficulties. Oh, it's okay. No, glad you're here. Um, all right, so next thing I wanted to do real quickly is just share with you a website that I thought was really cool. I'm gonna share my screen here for five seconds, but you can check this out on your own if you want as well. Um, this is tasks to complete step number four, visible body, the circulatory system. Um, you do have to pay for the wider use of the site. Obviously you don't need to do that, um, but they have really cool 3D animations and visuals of circulatory system components. So I just wanna show you a couple of these things. Um, each of these boxes here, so they've got blood flow, looking at the fluid, they've got heart chambers and valves, um, arteries, veins, and capillaries, the blood vessels, circulatory routes. Uh, if you click on any of these, it takes you to another page. So let's click on the heart, for example. Uh, and then there's a cool 3D animation you can manipulate and a couple other 
uh, informative things. Um, I'll show you the heart, which I think is really cool. So check that out. I think it's really fascinating and you can kind of manipulate it, move it around. Um, so again, you can see here on the top, this uh, first large tube coming out of the top that splits to the right and left, that is your pulmonary artery going to your lungs, blood goes to your lungs through that. And then this one kind of rounder one here that seems to go up and down, that's your aorta. So that sends blood to the upper half of your body and the lower half of your body. Um, and so some details that we didn't quite go into, though, I think they might have gone into it in the reading. Uh, you see all those white stuff on the inside. Those are your valves. They're like the doorways between the atria and the ventricles. They prevent blood from going backwards and they allow you to build up pressure inside your heart. Uh, so if you know anything about this, um, you'll notice there's three parts to this one. This is called your tricuspid valve. It's on the uh, right side of your heart. And then this one over here actually only has two. It's called the bicuspid valve. If you ever hear those terms, that's what that's referring to. Uh, and then the valves that go from your, um, uh, from the ventricles out to the arteries, those are each uh, have three parts to them, right? I don't think they're called tricuspid though. Um, you can see the one there. And then if we get it at the right angle, there's the other one there. Um, that explains the lubbed up sound. So if you've ever heard like people describe what a heartbeat sounds like, it's kind of like a lubbed up, lubbed up, lubbed up. That's what you hear. Um, and that's actually the closing of those valves. So every time your heart beats, these valves close to prevent blood from going backwards. And so the lub is the closing of these two larger valves here, and the dup is those other valves going out, uh, if you're ever curious about that. So anyway, it's some cool stuff to read about, um, you know, layers of the heart, that kind of thing. If you ever take anatomy and physiology, uh, which we offer here, um, this might be a site we'll use. Other cool thing to check out here is like your uh, circulatory routes. So it kind of expands it from the heart. I feel like a lot of the diagrams you see just focus on the heart or just focus on what an artery vein or capillary looks like, but the, um, the tubing that goes throughout the body is actually pretty complex and, and very cool, I think, to look at. So this is also still simplified, but um, you can see this is all the branching inside each of your lungs. Um, and then you've got these major arteries going up and down, uh, and you'll actually be feeling some of these major artery uh, ways today um, because you're going to be taking your pulse as part of a lab activity. Anyway, so feel free to check out that website on your own. Any questions or comments on that or the Kahoot? Alrighty, then what we're going to be doing today is a laboratory activity. Uh, on tasks to complete. This is the last one. It's called sensing circulation. When you click on the lab there, it'll take you to this lab assignment. Um, you're going to need a couple things, a stopwatch or a phone that has a timer on it, a calculator or a phone with a calculator app on it. You have to do some very simple math. Uh, and you'll need a safe open space where you can do a little bit of exercise. You're going to be basically taking your pulse, working out, and seeing how your pulse changes uh, recording that data and then graphing it. So you are going to be opening up and making a copy of this Google Sheet where you're gonna insert the data and then you're gonna make a pretty simple graph that's gonna show your peak pulse and your recovery time. Uh, and it's a good way to kind of look at um, how your heart's doing. Uh, and so please follow these instructions very carefully uh, to make sure you get the accurate results and the most points you can. Um, I'm gonna time for half an hour, 30 minutes to work through this, uh, but I'll keep track of people's progress on Canvas. So if it looks like most of you are done, we'll come back together. But otherwise, 30 minutes to work on sensing circulation. Let me know if you need help or have questions. Go for it. <laughs> 